So, I have begun the packing process, all my clothing. I don't know what's going on yet. The tour is not really being planned at the moment. I have to work on this today. But these are the clothes that have been left out. So, yeah, a lot of people are asking me to do clothing collection videos and show you guys my jacket game, my hoodie game, jogger game, fucking everything game, race car when I was a NASCAR driver. Um, I got a lot of stuff. Koala jacket, kid jacket. This whole, these are all full of my own shirts that I made. These are the only shirts that I haven't made myself. All these, these down here, that's all shit your boy made, dog. Boom, just stacked. It's crazy. Two bins. This is not easy. It's cornball as fuck, but you can literally do whatever you set your mind to. Problem is, is people don't actually set their mind. They do it for a little bit, they don't get the fucking reward, and they're like, all right, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. Can I call you back? I got, I got, like, 10 minutes. I yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah. Please, answer yeah. the phone. All right. Answer the phone. All right. Department of Corrections and Community Supervision. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. The location information may be collected and used by corrections and law enforcement personnel. Yo. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. I had to go to town real quick. It's all good. Call from. It's not, I'm not on some like Strictly like, I'm not like, I'm like You don't have to work out, Jay. Shut the fuck up. Like, shut the fuck up right I now. I don't even want to hear it from I, you. No, you don't. I'm trying to, I am trying to maintain some type of mess. I'm trying to maintain, I'm like, trying to maintain my superhero physique that I get by doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Fucking dickhead. <laughs> so are you writing at all? Mm-mm. Yeah, not really. I mean, sometimes I'll like that, like a little like whatever. I'll suck up on mine. I'll jot it down, but I'm not like on some fucking like yo. And maybe I'll drop a song one day again, but like right now, it's not. Like yeah, you just want to be around creative things. Like there's. I love that energy. Like that's one thing. You know what I mean? Watching you paint, watching you tap, watching you draw. Like love that shit. I love it. I like being around it. I was just fucked up tapping in my whole career. Yeah, or stay in New York and go back to jail for the final time. It's insanity. It's fucking insanity for anyone to think that you're gonna fucking just stay there and do even for a day. They're fucking nuts if they think that you're just gonna fucking be like uh, like that anyone is gonna just allow you to fucking be like oh yeah yeah just go hang out with the fucking old crew whatever you know or oh yeah just one little drink at snappers oh yeah just spend the night at anna's nothing like no one no one's letting that happen you know what i'm saying like i said you're an investment at this fucking point so that's that's not happening i, I, I said that to her i was just like you know what i mean i was like it's not even that he's been giving me it's, it's just keeping you fucking safe, bro. Like, yeah, it's keeping you safe because I'm not even, it's not on some like I'm not allowing it shit. It's on some, you don't even need to be having comments. Nothing needs to happen off the record. I gotta go to programs. All right. Um, I'm trying to call you. I know you're gonna be ripping and running. I'm trying to call you like at 8 o'clock your time. If you can answer, pick up. All right, hit me. I'll be around maybe. Who knows? All right. I love you, kid. Love you too. Keep your ass. All right. All right, bro. Peace. Peace. All right. Long conversations with Diddy. All right. So. Well, I was making beats this morning. Ern should be here any minute. Yo. Yo. What? Yeah. Oh, it's a starter. Oh, nice. shit. It's an A-Life. Oh, I was super surprised. I totally thought it was going to be like a Broncos thing. Teddy, stop talking. Trademark. It's amazing. Hey, this is awesome. Got the BG on the front for like the cats and thing. This is fucking ill. Wait, I don't understand. So he customized it's an a already she, a, first off. She customized an already A Life one, or I'm confused. Yeah, I mean, it looks as if it's an A Life starter jersey. Maybe he did the customization on the back. Put like this on it. I'm assuming. That, I don't think the yeah. A Life released the shirt. No, I don't either, but. Stop Talking was probably already on there from A Life. I don't know though. Nice. Let's go ball on it. I'm gonna go dunk on you on this shit. Shit. Shoosh. Hell yeah. Thanks, dog. Thanks, Ultra Brucey. 
Dude, this is illegal, and technically that's yeah. illegal, and it's like, yeah, well, technically I don't give a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> you never will, yeah, so yeah, it's, so, not yeah. it's not gonna matter. I did watch the America video. Oh, you did? I watched it this morning. It's good. I mean, it's real good. Oh, I had a good hour-long conversation with Diddy this morning. Oh, yeah? Dude. He just doesn't want to, but like, he needs to see the end product. He's like, you know, prove it to me. Like, let me see that this is all a fucking. I broke it down, like, even, like, not even about that. It's like, look at it deeper than that. On some, like, who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, what politician would you like for him to fucking talk about? I was like, what? You demand so much. We demand so much from our idols and celebrities, and then we fucking chastise them when they fucking stick their neck out one direction or the next. It's so if true. If they don't follow along with your ideals, what you're asking for is the person that you admire to fucking live up to your expectations in all regards. And that's yeah. why people become fake. That's why people won't tell you how they feel, because they're afraid that someone's going to fucking make them feel like shit for even having the thought. I yeah. thought. Even saying like, hey, well, let's talk about this. Like, yeah. I changed my mind about some shit. We can't just be like, you're wrong. You don't, yeah. and the fucking comeback is not, you don't understand. That's not I okay. Know. It's not an intellectual yeah. conversation. Oh, well, that's it's not the world that we live in. We're like, and if you can't have a conversation without removing emotion, you're not ready for the conversation. It's as simple as that. Like, yeah. you're just not ready for it. Like, emotion has got to get removed to make progress in the world. I'm sorry. It just is what it is. I'm emotional about all kinds of shit. I don't talk about it. And if I do talk about it, it's in a closed room with someone I pay by the hour, so. Oh, everything's shipped. <laughs> nice. Except the pre-order, which should, if it comes today, Brand said it'll be shipped today. As soon as it comes, it'll be shipped. Nice. Like, she's ready to just, um, oh. Went to the Rockies game last night. We bought $45 ticket seats. I really went in. Cause, uh, Moving on up from last year's 17. The rooftop was sold out. Let's not just sit up there. We might as well get So something. with the... Uh, 30 rows back right on the ground. It's not bad. 30 rows back right on the ground? Like on the first what, level. What baseline? Like third baseline. Like third base. It was nice. It was not bad. It was a nice night. Seats. Yeah, it was a nice night. It was fun. Did they um, win? Yeah, they did win. Who's they that? won 4-2. to two. The Rockies beat the Angels 4-2. to two. We really got to figure out this Patreon. Yeah, so let's do it. Other than that, I'm going to sit here and make beats all day, so... So let's set it up. And I would like to get this done early because the vlog keeps going up later and later. From that's fine, let's get it. That's where I came from. We literally, it's the fucking ninth. Yeah. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do because by the, when I pay rent, I'll have 14 days to get out of here and I have to decide if I'm moving in somewhere yeah. or if we're leaving. Like what? Like I'm literally putting myself in the fucking dumbest position ever. I mean, maybe you should just look at an apartment like... No. I'm not fucking moving into another or I'm house. not I doing house. it. I just mean a place instead of storage. Or storage. Thank you for your fucking help with my decision. Thank you for fucking giving me both of my fucking options well, and I telling just, me that I should look into both I of them. I just don't think the house is the worst <laughs> idea. Because if, because there's so many ifs I'm right now. I'm still not dude. moving into that house. I didn't tell you that I told that lady to suck it. That house, I know that. I'm not talking about that house. There's other houses, other apartments, there's condos, there's all sorts of fucking shit. All I'm saying. What I'm saying is we need to knock this first thing out of the way so I can concentrate on the second thing. So let's do it. Okay. All right, we'll get fucking laptop. chill with the filibuster. And so, we gotta roll a joint. Yeah. You can roll it. You saw me. There's cones there. over there. Just stuff one. It's made oh, for you. Dude, I can't even talk about roll a joint. Right. See, I had to finally admit it. But I had to stop giving you shit for it. So Dude, you, it's like a fucking, it's like a kid who's like, I'm ready to not have training wheels. I'm like, yeah, you know what? You are ready. Go ahead. I unscrew them bitches. There's the hill, son. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> You're like, I got it. Hospital bed. Fucking told you. But you know what? Some lessons in life, you gotta be learned. You can't be told. So finally, you understand you can't roll a fucking joint. What do I do? You can't roll a blunt either. No one's just like bothered to tell you. Blunts just happen to roll themselves for the most part. Yeah. Because they're already in a cylinder. Yeah. And we have this thing called yeah. like inertia and shit. Yeah. And fuck, well, it's not really inertia, but you know what I'm saying. I'm down with inertia. Yeah. Is that uh, your friend from back home? Oh man, you seen inertia? Yeah, man, he was yeah. going that way. What a fucking nerdy joke. <laughs> man, every time I see inertia, he's going somewhere. That's it. I'll name my first kid inertia. <laughs> He's going somewhere. Yeah. You're gonna give your kid a slow kids in the future will have slogans. If your kid ain't got a slogan, he ain't shit. That's the first slogan. Oh, the kid ain't got a slogan? What the fuck are you even Which doing? Which of these is the team? Are you even raising your kids? Bubba Fat, that sounds indica. I that is wrong. definitely an indica. Yeah. <laughs> It's not like there's a fucking air raid.
Do you see the the Delta plane that emergency landed last night in Denver? Huh? Yeah, they had fumes. I'm dealing with one emergency at a time right now. I want to know the sound is. Wednesday, the city of Denver, that's today, is testing its improved emergency warning system to make sure it's ready in case of tornadoes, flooding, and other dangers. Yeah, that sounds like a test. What are we talking about? This is the test. Oh, that's what this that's is. That's what this is. It's from the airport? Ow, but for how long? Just to give you a little update on what's going on, Denver emergency management officials want people to know they are testing their emergency sirens and it's not a warning that the end of the world is near. Yeah, now this one says Friday. Oh, this one, the, the, it's only a test, not doomsday signals from 2012. But the one from this morning, you Google it. You know how Google has that first answer come up on Wednesday, the city of Denver, blah, blah, blah. Use Twitter. Use Twitter for news, then, like, uncle. We could be in the midst. You're not, when you could just fucking look at tweets. There's people falling from the fucking building landing on me right now. <laughs> Are you seeing anything like that? Um, oh, not yet. We're still here. It'd be amazing if that building in front of me just blew up. It's a tornado siren. So there's a tornado right now? No, it's a, it, don't worry, it's just Denver and a few other cities testing their tornado siren. Yeah, which is, okay. that's what I said, but it's the same thing. The tornado emergency, it's all the same siren, but. I'm gonna be waiting for the Wall Street Journal to tell you what's going on when you can just find out what fucking uh, Cisco Biscuit 48 fucking has to say and goddamn get your shit together. <laughs> It's actually a great angle, Teddy. To do shoes and stuff. Or to do any kind of talking. This cause the whole toy thing and the boost things there, I never did I just put this here randomly and it looks pretty cool. Alright, so today's today's episode, we're gonna take you guys on a walk through time. I don't even know what that means. People are constantly asking about collection video for that stuff. And uh, I haven't done one because I never have. But yeah, depending on what happens uh, shortly, maybe we'll go through a collection. Um, a lot of people ask me where I get my stuff. Generally speaking, I get stuff now for retail. I have plugs pretty much all over. If I don't get something, it always, always, always comes from StockX. It literally always comes from StockX. Which will segue into this hoodie. So this hoodie came yesterday. This is the Off-White Kids collab that almost killed me with these right here. So as far as hoodie quality goes, it is a very, very nice hoodie. This is my first thing on Off-White, so the fit is definitely super relaxed. It hangs down onto your body completely different. The weight of this enormous hood, when it's pulled back, also feels like it adds to the hang. So it's got a really nice, relaxed, definitely one of the most comfortable hoodies I've ever had. But it's still priced insane. Like, fucking insane but shout out to stock x because also what happens a lot of times i get stuff they also sent this kit hoodie we didn't really look at i haven't really looked at this but this came yesterday too this is the black racing hoodie it's got all the patches i have all three of those now i have the black the white and the blue so stock x does shoes that's how it started i started getting shoes from them first and then they expanded into watches which i don't really i don't really care about times i don't wear watches usually uh, i have had watches in the past but it's not really my thing and handbags which i have no use for but then they started doing clothing as well but i think it's mostly supreme and kith anything that basically gets hype another thing i use stock x for what it's also really great for kith collection these shorts these are those kith shorts that came out these are new with tags they have not been worn I didn't even try them on i can just tell they're too short that's the retail price and then i literally am going to sell these right now on stock x so for me when i can't a lot of people want to size swap do all this shit on the internet easy way to get scammed is to size swap. If you know the person and they're reputable, fine. I would say go with a company, sell your pair, sell whatever you have, and just buy that item with cash. It might take longer, it might be more of a headache, but it is going to be well worth the trouble, I promise you. If you leave the opportunity for yourself to get scammed, you're likely to get scammed. So just don't, don't, don't get 36. Lowest ask is 225. Highest bid is 150. It's not that much over retail. The last sale was 195. So let's do this. Let's do a. So the lowest ask is 225. Mine is brand new and unworn. I will ship within two business days. And success. So currently asking. Currently asking 195. I'm sure they'll be sold here within the next little bit. The highest bid is 150. So honestly, if I wanted to sell them right the second, I could sell them for 150. But after fees and taxes, that's just retail, which is fine, but it's kind of like whatever. If I was gonna do that, the thing about StockX too is it gives you the opportunity. It's not sneaky, but you you know, your friends sometimes want you just to give them deals. There are times in your life where it would be nice to make a little extra money 
to move forward in the game. So if you want to do that anonymously and you don't want to have to like pin your friends against each other, StockX is a perfect place because it's just anonymous. Nobody knows. You don't have to deal with messages all day. You just literally send them the shit. It gets approved and then you're done. So yeah, shout out to StockX. They kill it. And thank you for the very expensive hoodie. Someone's trying to sell me the black kit in a size 13. The non-native kit but with the silver hip coat with friends and family. For how much? <laughs> what? What? There are not enough toys here? Hmm. Okay. Let's figure this out. You need what? I need you to call the vet. Okay, what's up? It's the same shit, dude. He's not bleeding yet, but like I just saw okay. him sitting here and he's just, it's like all fucking crazy and red on the end. Okay. Like if he gets excited, it feels like he's gonna, the same thing's gonna happen. Okay, Let them okay. know too that they did the surgery and they told me to follow up and that this is happening right now. Well, as if today has not been already stressful, we're trying to plan Finish planning this tour to make sure that it actually happens. Patreon and probably like a Kickstarter type situation, even though probably not on Kickstarter. I really want to launch it this week. If I choose, I'd rather crowdfund most of it. But, um, you know, I need both. I need to have both fires burning at the same time because it's coming up. It's literally like 40 days away when I'm planning on, but at least having to be out of my apartment. And now, there's this Omar situation again. He's been playing all day, so I'm assuming he's okay, but we need to get him to the vet. I haven't seen any real blood yet, but you go into the vet. Yeah, you can look at me all you want. So now we have to add that into the schedule that is already too full. So that's not positive. I'm going to uh, wait for Ernie to call me back, see what's happening. <sighs> all right, so for shoes today, I'm gonna take a look at the, uh, we've looked at the other two colorways. There were three that came out. This is the white pair. Originally wasn't gonna get because retail on these is pretty high. I was gonna wait and see if they went on sale because a lot of the higher fashion Adidas collabs do, but I didn't want to risk it because I fell in love with the shoe after getting the first pair. Absolutely fell in love. So the other two colors, if you missed it, school bus yellow colorway, also a Volt, and then today is the white. And there's really no difference in review. I can just kind of give you a better idea of how it feels. So I really, 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 really like this shoe. As far as boost goes, it's not crazy, insane, responsive, or a massive amount of boost, but there is boost in the heel, and there is boost in the forefoot. It's a really comfortable ride. Uh, that again, say this every time, the marriage with the upper and the boost on this is fucking amazing. This is probably the most comfortable upper out of any Adidas shoe that's ever been made. It's not the most breathable. It's not the most breathable. It's not the most flexible, but it is the most comfortable. Puffy, pillowy, clouds not only in the fucking heel but also in the upper like it's just different like it feels it just feels super nice on foot like it's really fucking comfortable the way the upper grabs your foot way that it's not constricting you know all these shoes grab your foot differently you know like this grabs your foot the easy grabs your foot in the toes and even shoes like the nemesis that hug your foot like pretty well and have a lot of this same soccer or football technology in it don't quite put it together like this shoe for me even if you take like the a16 uh, a16 17 whichever uh, some of those same qualities you have a lot of it the heel area and it's very luxy but not like this this is just nuts like it's just straight up crazy the the toe the copa toe pattern I think is beautiful and then it's just dude it's just so comfortable the whole this isn't underneath that's not straight pk on your foot that's actually like this really soft velvet almost yeah inlay i don't know if they're they're so comfortable like it's really for if you like mids, this is the marriage of Ultra Boost Mid and Trail. The other Ultra Boost Mid that came out, people aren't really feeling. This right here, this is like the most perfect compromise in the world. I really, really love this shoe. So uh, the collab is with Gosha Rubjinsky, fashion designer from Russia, which I also love that vibe. I really love, I really love that modern Euro raver OG Adidas vibe, like that definitely just super European vibe. I really like it. As far as 90s nostalgia goes, if I was gonna be nostalgic about thing, I think rave culture is probably what it would be. Not that I went to a lot of raves, but I definitely liked raver girls. I, I still like raver girls. But yeah, so that I definitely fuck with 
with that vibe. I fuck with the context, the Gosha context, and this shoe. Like, the shoe I really like. The joggers that I got, I got pretty much, yeah, I got every color of the joggers are sick. They're 130 bucks retail, which a lot of people say is high. It is high, but they're also really nicely made. Had no issues. Hello. Well, tomorrow's an early one, 8.15 a.m. 8.15 a.m., all right, sounds good. Yeah, that's, the, that's the earliest they can do it today. You got some clouds though, dog. They think I'm you and I get on. And she's like, Teddy, wait, you're the vlogger. Ho hold on a second, let me go talk to Dr. Geisler. We'll nice, so, Omar's, Omar's got clout at the phone. She literally, she literally said, you're the vlogger. I said, yeah, she said, hold on, I'm going to go talk to Dr. Geiselhart right now. Nice. All right, cool. <laughs> she came back and was like, we can't do today, but we can do first thing in the morning. He's definitely like spotting blood here and there. Oh, God. Yeah. I will. <laughs> prepare, prepare yourself, sir. Uh, do you have more diapers? Nope. Um, all right, so that's handled that in the morning. Omar's now passed out. But yeah, this shoe, amazing. Premium material, so it's basically all PK and then suede on the toe box, suede on the heel, and then a translucent Copa heel cage. Three stripes are fused, and then on the inside, it's just like a comfort bubble of life. I mean, it's just amazing. You got the heel. Heel support is crazy comfortable, and then like I said, all the way down, it's just, it's just super nice i mean this is like all the way down the inside it's not real felt maybe it is but it's like synthetic suede or maybe it's real i don't know bear skin i have no idea it just feels nice it's so nice i think that this might be my favorite collab right now i the shoe's super comfortable like i said not super breathable but i mean i kicked around these in chicago all day for like two days and my feet did not hurt at all i mean they got hot and they got sweaty but they ain't hurt that's pretty much it i'm gonna get my uh life situated to make sure omar is cool now because that's happening we're about to do a surprise restock like right now basically six o'clock six o'clock mountain time i don't know when this vlog is gonna go up but there's a surprise restock on some items we had some holy it's mostly happy cry stuff but we had some stuff that was left over got returned etc etc miscounted whatever what have you it's restocking right now so if you're interested if you missed out on any of it you can go over to the site and grab it. Um, yeah, other than that, getting all this shit situated. Just trying to keep up. Keeping up with life. Hope you are too. All right, peace.